Jimi Hendrix played the song Purple Haze in two minutes and 50 seconds. So why did it take a Vietnamese cover band exactly 40 years to get through that tune? Ned Hibbert is live in our newsroom tonight with a story that spans the Pacific Ocean. Ned? You know, it's 9,300 miles from Saigon to southeast Texas, Melinda. But over the weekend, in a West Houston restaurant, an unbelievable tale of rock and roll and blood and guts came full circle. The last time this band played this song in front of this crowd, everyone remembers the date. It was April 8th, 1971. The Vietnam War was raging, and for servicemen in Saigon, the CBC bar was a rock and roll refuge. They played the certain songs, the Santana songs, uh, Jimi Hendrix, and, and this particular band at that time is, was the lead band in all of Southeast Asia, especially Saigon. These guys were the Beatles of Vietnam. They were the most, the best rock band you ever heard. The musicians of the CBC band were teenagers then. The American soldiers, not much older. That's Scott Roberts on the right, then and now. We are here just to acknowledge a moment in time. None of them knew that moment would echo across time and space, like feedback from Tung Lin's guitar. I close my eyes and think about back in Vietnam. Purely by chance, some were inside the CBC bar. I was just walking down the street one night and two of these guys grabbed me and said, hey, you want to go to a bar? They took me in there and about got me killed. And others were somewhere else. Scott Roberts was my roommate and he and my other partner were already there. And we were going to meet up with them. But as the band ripped into Jimi Hendrix... They're playing Purple Haze, and they just started getting in the lead riffs, and all of a sudden, bottom. 40 pounds of plastic explosives... It just boom, real loud, and that's it. ...ripped into the crowd. And the roof came down, and the ball was blown away. The terrorist's bomb killed one GI and a 14-year-old Vietnamese girl. She was only there because she had a crush on the drummer. Yeah, at the beginning, she came in, and the guy at the door, they, they wouldn't let her in because it was crowded inside. But she asked the guy, let her in for a couple of minutes, she want to see me. So she just came in for a couple of minutes, she died right away. The musicians emerged almost unscathed. I'm the only one in the band that uh, get wounded. I almost lose my leg. But the bombing was soon swallowed by history, forgotten to all but the troops and the troubadours that survived. The CBC band later escaped Vietnam. Well, I was young and uh, my parents sponsored them on my behalf. Landing here in Houston. And on April 8th, 2011, this is where musicians and military men reunited. So glad to see him, man. I haven't seen him in 40 years. Yeah, 40 years. Tonight. <laughs> reunited for some unfinished business. And now they're going to finish the song, I guess. <laughs> It'd be nice. The Vietnam vets, about a dozen of them, found each other on the Internet. They flew in from all over the United States for a show that was truly one night only.